Your boy again. You think he be capping or you think he really do be getting these calls? He said, I got a call saying it should be noted many major record labels have the pro deprioritized signing rappers. The focus is now African music and Latin music. Rappers are talking boring and talking about the same shit over and over, chase the TikTok success and comment section. Yeah, I, I think so. I seen something else that 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 um Latin music was was like gaining more traction. I seen it yeah. that now now Ebro says this. But what if he seen that article too and he just wants to say this? Like he just you know what I'm saying saying something about it. But maybe I mean you gotta look, even Gotti said rap is getting boring. You know what I'm saying? It's that's what, yo Gotti and he got you know. He got he got artists that's popping, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I, what, I got two questions. Do you think, which one you think is more? Because these are the two reasons I think. Because I'm not I'm not quick to say that it's drill. You know, everybody's saying oh it's drill, it's drill, it's drill. I feel like um hip hop got boring because the older artists, the middle aged artists, they don't drop music like that. Except so now. So it's like they don't feed their fan base, so then it forces the older people or the people to try to tap into the newest shit, and then that's where the disconnect happens. At you're like, I'm not said that statement that time, right? Like, yeah. just drop the music for you. Know what I'm saying it's like I don't, I don't feel like the older rappers. Maybe ain't no money in it. Maybe it's not a fan base in it. I don't know, but I don't think they fed the fan base enough to even create a lane for that shit. It's like it's only the drill shit. So you gonna say the drillers was killing hip hop? You can say drillers was keeping it alive. <laughs> A lot of people trying to say it's drill that's killing it, but it might be it might be the violence associated with drill. But the drill is where all the young kids are doing. So how is that killing it? They they the future. They might be killing each other. Or you think what's your what's your opinion? That's just my opinion. What's your opinion? You think it's drill? I don't think it's drill. Honestly, I think it's the same sound. Everybody sound the fucking same. Even if it's either drill or it's trap, it still sound the same. You know what I'm saying? It's no um, uniqueness and identity. Like, just think about this, right? Think about prior to Nas coming out, the style of rap. And then Nas came out and it changed it. And then think about, like, when the first time you heard the locks, it sounded different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then think of, like, and you, and, 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 and you can look at it like this from this aspect, too. Think about the first time you heard Pop Smoke. You know what I'm saying? It sounded different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But now, like like he said, TikTok and social media popularity is what's is doing this shit, bro. You look at all the girl songs. If, if, if I played those same three girls we talked about, mm -hmm. I played the majority of their music, it's talking about the same shit. There ain't no difference. This is either they talking about Getting money from a nigga, fucking a nigga, or uh, or scamming a nigga, or beefing with a nigga. That's what they talk. The same shit. All the girls. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's no, it's no uniqueness. No, it's no. no you know, I feel like I just look at Kendrick and J Cole, right? Yeah. Compared to like a. Jay Z and Snoop, Jay Z and Nas, um, Jay Z and Give Me a Down South artist. You know what I'm saying? Anybody like they wanted to be stars back then. You see how like J Cole and Kendrick, they kind of like low key. They don't really. Jay Z wanted to be the man when he was in his prime. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to be that face of hip hop. Like I feel like the artists nowadays more reserved. You know, they be on some weirdo shit. Like I don't. It's just, it's just hit different though. It do like rap is in a weird spot right now. Like. It like, ain't like think, I, when we had like, like big and right now, J. Cole is bigger than Kendrick right now. Mm -hmm. To me, he is but some in other people's eyes, he might not be. I, I like J. Cole because J. Cole is more the hip hop that I grew up listening to. And then look how long it takes between albums. Jay Z was every summer, remember, dropping a new album. Nah, That's not really. Good. It's been sometimes with Jay win like a two like a two year hiatus. Two years, like was that the blueprint? 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's been it's been times where he he did that, but like, yeah, you. I mean, he was more consistent. He's you know what did what five years before his album, before his album. What can it be? Five years? I don't know. Like maybe three. Four years? Three. But Jay Cole did like three years between his album. Four years. The only one that's consistent that drop every year is Drizzy, and that's why he probably successful. But he got ghostwriters, so of course he could drop. He got reference tracks and shit like that. You know what I mean? He got a team. He got Kanye. Um, yeah. And then, then, and then you look at like even like Jeezy. Jeezy been fell off like a bad bag of dope. The reason why Jeezy gonna always be the man though, because he got that time in hip hop. That time when it was Jeezy time, and you can't rewrite history. So for now that, I'm gonna tell you, I think I think Jeezy could do. Uh, um, like a final lap tour, like fifty or no. off, off, off track. Of course, of, um, of course, two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty-five. Oh, Jeezy. Yeah, that's when that's when um TM one hundred and one came out. It's oh five, summer oh five. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I remember I bought that. that uh, listen, I was listening to that album going to BT. Man. Yeah, yeah, he could definitely do that in twenty twenty-five. Like he could do a final that's lap. Saying, Jeezy's always gonna have that nostalgia yeah. around him because if you yeah. was outside at that time, you know the temp. The soundtrack of the streets niggas getting money was Young Jeezy at the time. So you gotta have a, you gotta have um, I think. But then basically, what we talking about is the ones that really us uh, got a significant place in hip hop have at least one classic album. Yeah. At least one classic album, like Fifty got a classic album, Jeezy got a classic album, Jay got multiple classic albums, Nas got classic albums, Wu Tang got classic albums. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a classic album. But I don't understand why they don't do bigger shit for hip hop though, like that they know could smash it. Like, imagine Jay Nas, all the New York Wu Tang, all on the tour, like the greats going from state to state. Yo, know, that, that's some shit that'll bring hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then again, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Jay, like money is too up. Like, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. But it's like the hip hop dying. Latin music taking over. And that, and after that, Afro Beats is on their ass. Afro Beats is on their ass. Cause I might leave after this live and go to this Afro Beats spot. When I was in the after hours, it was Afro Beats playing and some Spanish shit here and there. there was no hip hop. Like Burner Boy is that nigga. Yeah, politics and greed. That's a fact. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be greed. Niggas is all up already. Imagine you film that shit like backstage, a, a 2023 backstage niggas has grown. You see how they grew from that backstage to now. To I, I, I bet, I bet my cool. bottom dollar that 50 is filming. Uh, um, of course. He's filming the, like the behind the scenes of this tour. Of course. Yeah, but the real 90s artists, you feel me the best. Not the motherfucking niggas that was gold and all that. They could open up. Right, if you had, I'm gonna put it like this. If you had a tour, this would be the. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I'm gonna tell you one label could put on a tour and sh and, and bring hip hop back. Who? Def Jam. Rockefeller. Um, Jay Kanye. And the Dips. The Dips ain't the same since the Locks did that to them. Though. I'm saying, but the Dips. Jay Kanye, the Dips. Beanie Siegel, Petey Crack, and the state prop. It's a snoozer until Kanye, until the, I guess the dibs get on. How's a snoozer? Hope is the headliner, nigga. No, it's a snoozer until, until Jay, until that's it. Cam and them, Kanye. Like, like you and open up, you gonna open up with Young Guns. Chris and Neef. Then you bring out Petey Crack. So you, you know open what I'm saying? Rat. You open it up with a mouse, Neef Buck. He <laughs> Come on, come on, Batty. We doing this for the streets. This is the this is nineties two thousand. Why did you just open it up with Young Chris? Oh, Petey Crack. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then, then like Freeway. 
Beans. Then Beans not 100%. You got to bring AI Beans out. He's using the AI. He's, got, he's using the AI on the performance. You know what I'm saying? You bring out, now, you might have to bring out Bleak before Beans, though. Definitely. You got to bring out Bleak. Bleak got to be after free. He come out when that's your chick come on. That's when he come out. He might not even know me. And then, like, I, right, like, at the bean set, then that's when you do the, the, the Beanie Siegel Freeway. Open it with my son, Rel. What was his name, Rel? Yeah, Rel, Rel. My son, Rel, oh, let him open it up. And he had the, he had the bud back then. Remember he got locked up for the bud? Yeah, from South Carolina. My nigga, Rel, i let Rel open up. Not hell, Rel, Rel. Him and Jim got a joint. They could do that joint. Let Jim come out. And then you, you like you, you his, like when you do Cam, you do the song that Cam had with with Beans and Bleak. And then Cam, then Cam in the dips. You know what I'm saying? And then then when Cam about to leave, he, he come out, he do Welcome to New York City with Jay. And then boom, and then you go to the J set. New York City. 